you love donuts and love being outdoors. And want to make some money. We're going to show you how to combine all three. This is a business I like to call how to get free donuts. This video was inspired by our parents' friend who runs the Baltimore Donut Bike Crawl. Check it out online and join if you're in that area. So if you do this idea, you can do it for charity, or if you're doing it for your business, maybe give a portion of your profits to your favorite charity. Is there a charity for people who need money to keep buying donuts? Uh, I don't think so, Nadia. Okay. The gist of this trip is that people will join you on a nice round trip bike ride, stopping to eat donuts along the way. Mmm, donuts! My favorite donut is powdered jelly filled. That's what I'm going to be looking for today. Mm. Plan your trip for early morning or late afternoon so your customers can be in comfortable weather. You know, not too hot and not too cold. We did it! It's burning hot! It's nearly 95 degrees! Hot. Water. Help. A great way to never get repeat customers is for your customers to feel like that. stop at about four to six donut shops in your area with a round trip biking distance of say 12 to 15 miles. This way it's not too overwhelming for your riders. Are we really going to stop at eight donut shops? My belly is going to be way too full and my legs are going to be way too tired. Tip number three, price wisely. When you think about pricing, remember all the things you're offering your customers. Vitamin D, getting outdoors, and of course, donuts. Getting donuts alone is worth the cost. Especially when you're getting a powdered jelly filled donut, right? Mm hmm. Exactly. Also, remember the cost of your time. You're gonna spend time planning, talking to donut shop owners, selling tickets, answering questions, and of course, the time for the bike ride. And you need time to eat your powdered jelly filled donut. For an event of, say, two hours, and donuts at four to six places, I think $25 to $30 per person is a fair price. Speaking of that, where is my money? Uh-oh. You know, since this trip is my family, I think I'll charge them a little bit more. Thank you. Thank you. Tip number four. Make sure your customers get one donut per shop. Organize with the shop owner beforehand so you'll know how to pay for the donuts. Number one, you may be able to negotiate with the shop owner to let your customers get the donuts for free for publicity for their store. Maybe they can give out coupons for the next visit. Because if the donuts are really good, like say if they have powdered jelly filled donuts, the customers will definitely want to come back. Number two, if number one doesn't work and you're giving a portion of your funds to charity, then you may be able to convince the shop to give the customers the donuts for free because it'll count as a charitable write-off for them. We have no advice on that. Talk to your accountant. <laughs> number three, if those options fail and you have to pay for the donuts out of pocket, just make sure you charge your customers enough to cover the cost of the donuts and so you get your profit. And enough to get yourself a powdered jelly filled donut. Jelly fish.
Nobody left behind. But guys, I really want to stop over here at this shoe store. I'll only be a minute. I'll catch up. No! They didn't have any powdered jelly filled again. But instead, I got this. Tip number six, do not get more than one donut per store. As tempting as it may be to stock up at all the delicious donuts at each stop, don't. You'll either have to bike back with one hand because you're carrying all the donuts in the other, or you'll have to eat all the donuts like I did. Hope you like this idea. Now go get some donuts and get loose. I got a pound of donut finally. If you like our videos, then be sure to press subscribe and to comment down below. Cause it's very, very nice. Get with us, explore your genius, all some things you will produce.